Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of Coding Decoded and today we will be solving March 28 lead code challenge and today's question is reconstruct original digits from English. In this question we are given a string that is out of order English representation of digits 0 to 9. Just one line is given in the question, the description is shitty, we need to output the digits in ascending order. So it's a little complicated, not the question, but the description is very complicated. Even it took some time for me to understand this question, what this question is asking and what should be the approach there. Uh, to explain that, let's just move on to the presentation. And let me just start the slideshow as usual. Reconstruct original digits from English and let me just take a pen here. Lead code 423. So let's talk about the English representation of digits. So 1 is represented as 1, 1, 2 as T W O 2, 3 as T H 3 R W E, and 4 as F O U R, 5 F I V E, 6 S I X, 7 this, and 8 like this, and 9 like this. So this is the English representation of digits. And all of you must be aware of this representation. And what we have to do, let's create a map where the character z occurs in how many digits so z occurs only in 0 s occurs only in 6 4 occurs only in 4 like u occurs only in 4 w occurs only in 2 8 occurs only in 8 f occurs in 5 and 4 o occurs in uh, 1 2 4 and 0 so 1 2 4 and 0 t occurs in 3 8 2 so this is the T, this is the T, this is the T, 3, 8, 2, S occurs in 6 and 7 and I occurs in 9, 5, 6 and 8, 9, 5, 6 and 8. So I hope this is also clear to you, this portion of the uh, logic is also clear to you that we have created a map of character and checked in how many digits does it occur. And now let's take the example. So let's we are given the string. This is the same string that was specified in the question. O W O Z T N E O E R. And let's just count the frequency of each of the digit. So zero occurs three times, W occurs one times, Z occurs one time, T occurs one, N one, E two, and R one. And let's just try to map the digit with its corresponding character. So we are sure that the uh, that zero maps to Z. So uh there's no there's one z so the frequency of zero would be one and let's move on to the next one we have six maps to x and is there any x in this string there's no x the frequency is zero so the frequency of six becomes zero then move on to the next one we have four and how do we have any u there the there's no u the frequency of four becomes zero do we have uh, 2 w there for 2 let's check we have w for 2 and so let's try it 1 here because the frequency of w is 1 so 2 maps to w and w frequency is 1 so we'll re write 1 there and let's move on to the next one we got 8 and 8 maps to g so let's check whether we have g, in, g there no so the frequency is 0 then we have f 4 and 5 in F. So let's check uh, the frequency of F. Do we have any F's there? F is not there. Frequency of F is 0. And we know that the frequency of 4 is also 0. So F maps to 4, frequency of 4 plus that of 5. So this is 0, this is 0. So F is also, 5 is also 0, maps to 0. So I'm filling in 5 there, 0 there. And then, so next we have. Uh, O and O is present in 0, 1, 2 and 4. So the frequency of O is 3 equals to frequency of 0 plus F of 0 plus that of 1 plus 2 and plus 4. And let's check do we have that information with us or not. So for 0 it's 1. So this gets replaced by 1. And for 1 it's pending. So let's let's call it a variable x. And for 2 is again 1. So and for 4 it's 0 so plus 0 and we can find x through this equation so 3 minus 1 minus 1 would give us x 
which would be frequency of one. So let that would be equal to one itself. So three minus two is one. X is one. Frequency of one becomes uh, one. So pretty awesome. Let's move on to the next equation. We have t as three plus eight plus two. Frequency of three plus eight plus two. So uh, do we have that information with us or not? Yes, we have that information with us. Uh, t is only present once. So one equals to frequency of three. It's pending, so let's call it x. What is the frequency of eight? It's zero. What is frequency of two? It's one. So that means x is zero. So assigning zero here, and let's move on to the next one. We got six plus seven as in s. So frequency of s is zero. There, there's no character as s in the string, and then we have six and seven. So six is already zero. Seven must be zero then. So sign zero there. And then we have i, i is also not there, so frequency is zero. And what is the frequency of nine is pending? So let's call it x. And then we have five, five is zero, six is zero, five is zero, six is zero, and eight is zero. So x also turns out to be zero. So sign zero there. And now let's just create the string. How will we create the string? We'll start from this index, and as many times as the frequency occurs, we'll Assign that character into the string. So this means you got zero once, and then we have one, and then we have two. So that index got added, and we created a string, and we will do that as many times as each character occurs in that string. I hope this logic is clear to you, and it's slightly complicated to understand it from the question. I tried my level best to explain this question to you, and moving on to the coding part. So I'll be needing that table for reference, so as to correctly form the mathematical equations. So I've copy pasted that from the presentation and wrote it here. And let me just define. So let me just define a map of size twenty six. And let's calculate the frequency of each character in the string. Car C S dot two car array. And let's just increase the frequency. In the map C minus A, pretty simple way of doing this. We have been doing this a lot in the past, and let's now define a digit array that will store the count or the frequency of each digit using the map generated using the map. So the frequency of digit of zero would be equal to map dot get Z minus A because we are pretty sure that frequency of zero maps to the digit zero. And let's write it for the other digits as well. So frequency of six maps to x minus that of a. And let's write few more. We are sure of u, and that maps to four. And next we have two. Two. We will use W for it. And then we have G. And the digit is eight. And then we have four and five. So four is already known to us. Let's calculate it for five. So five would be equal to map of F minus digit of four. So the mathematical equation is something like this. We are aware of this value, and so I'll move into the right hand side and I use a minus sign there. So this is how I derive the logic. And next we have let's use do these first. S let's do it for S. Six and seven. We already have six, so let's do it for seven. So it will be something similar to. A linear equation of two variables, and seven is unknown. Six we are sure, and s we are we already know frequency of s we already know, and six we are we have just calculated using x. And next we have o. Let's go for o. That means we need zero, one, two, and four. So zero we have, two we have, four we have, 
So let's calculate the frequency of one. So how will we do that? We'll use O character and we'll subtract frequency of zero minus two, that of two and minus four. Again, mathematical equation. You can derive it yourself. You take these values to the left hand side and you'll form that mathematical equation. And next we have I. So I will be something similar to this. So let's replace I first. And how many values we have? We have five. We have five, we have six, and we have eight. So the variable is nine. So I'll keep nine here. And we have five. We have six and we have eight. Awesome. We have filled in all the digits now and let's just then read the string. I'm using string builder for it because it is not immutable as strings are. So let's then read the answer and new string builder. And let's start the iteration from the 0th digit up to 10 i plus plus and let's calculate the frequency equals to digit dot i while frequency minus minus while frequency is greater than 0 it keep on appending that character that index n is dot append i and frequency minus minus sounds good return ns dot two string and let's try this up hope it works in the first go awesome so surprisingly i missed the equation for t and let's just write it up so t equals to frequency of t equals to frequency of 3 plus 8 and plus 2 so let's just form the equation and what frequencies do we have we have 8 with us we have 2 with us and 3 is pending so let's just write that up frequency of 3 would be t map of t minus 8 and 2 minus 2 again so now let's try this up accept it Hope you liked the video and understood the problem. Thanks for watching it and please don't forget to like, share and subscribe to the channel.